So I'll just get one more tree here and give her the, the sticks and stones I've managed. Ow! Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining me in Medieval Dynasty. And what last time we did some bird hunting. Uh, we got some fertilizer, I do believe, so our farmers could get some fields planted. Um, I don't know if we built, but we got our, you know, Nicola, our new villager who we got from that bird hunting quest. She is our new workshop person. Do we have somebody? Are you over here? Hang on. Did I set somebody to work? I don't even know what I've set everybody to do anymore. So, yeah, production, kitchen, you have... Oh, yeah, Bo Bogadar. Right. So, but he seems to be pretty happy. Yeah. They're all going up. That's good. But this time, what we need to do is get prepared for spring, because in spring, we need to pay taxes. What is that six things up there? Does it tell you? Farming. Um, oh, yeah, the barn is still... Yeah, the hen house. We need to get some chickens. For sure. Kitchen needs materials. The smithy needs materials. Okay, well, let's check on that real quick. For the smithy over here, what kind of materials do you need? I'm guessing you need, like, everything. Yes, everything. So, I kind of think we should get her some stones and sticks and logs and stuff. So, I'm going to spend a little bit of time just, yeah, clean up this area. May as well. And then, see what the kitchen needs. And probably get her some logs, too. I don't know. If, I think that's all she needs for right now. I mean, I'm sure she could use some iron and stuff, but we aren't quite there yet. So, I don't know why they can't just grab it out of the storage. Pretty sure that that's what the storage is for. The general storage is for storing general things, but it doesn't seem like they can access it. I don't know if you need to have a special person whose job it is to, like, go and bring things from place to place. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'll have to look and see. Like a gatherer hut. We do need a gatherer hut. That is true. Oh, gotta collect that first. It's underneath. That should be... Well, I don't know if that's going to be enough sticks. But yeah, so what I have planned on doing, because I, I thought I'd probably have to end up uh, just selling tools, and I went and looked online, and it looks like that, yeah, crafting stone knives is a pretty viable way to earn money, which I think is what I'm going to have to do, because I don't know what else I can really accomplish in the amount of time that we have before spring, because where are we at? Yeah, next day is looks, looking like it's going to be spring. Ew. Should be enough to get you somewhere. Right? Mm, where is it? This one? Yeah, so you can have all these. All these. Um, sure, we'll give you, whoops, we'll give you some feathers too. Why not? I don't know what you use feathers for. I don't think she uses them for anything yet. So, yeah, I'm gonna go just chop some trees down and then I will get back to you guys after we've got that taken care of. We got a new building, fishing hut, just from picking up sticks and rocks. That works. Well, maybe chopping trees help too. I don't know. I only chopped down two trees though. So, I'll just get one more tree here and give her the, the sticks and stones I've managed. Ow! You rat bastard. Do we have our um, unpredictable arrows of randomness? What is that? Oh, that's right. We don't have any spears. Oh, crap. We do still have our bow, though. Can we just take him with our... No. Eh. Ow. You rat bastard. Would you die already? Freaking boar. All right. No, don't roll on my arrow. Man. You're sitting... Oh, it's one. It's pierced his ear. That's hilarious. Oof. Where did he even come from? Didn't we shoot three arrows at him? A broken one. That sucks. Oh, it requires a knife. Of course it requires a knife that I don't have. Oh, sticks? Really? Got enough stones. All right, more sticks. I'm going to be making a ton of those, probably. Shortly here. There we go. Now we can craft a knife, and where'd that boar go? 
Wasn't he right here? What the heck happened to the boar? Um, hello? Mr. Boar? It was like right here, right? Okay, well that sucks. Oh, did you take the boar? Maybe she took the boar. Well, there's another one over there. I feel like I need vindication. I'm gonna make myself some spears, which we probably need to do anyway. Go take down that other boar. Ow! What? What the heck was that? We might need to go take a nap. <laughs> I'm not doing too well this this episode. <laughs> Sheesh. Tree just murders me after the boar tries to jump me from behind. Alright, well first, before we go do any more boar hunting, yeah, we're gonna eat the rest of these. And then, yeah, how many spears can I make? Yeah, four? Uh, yeah, we'll do four just in case. That way we can throw three and have one to stab them with. Man. I thought it was gonna be a nice, simple play, you know, just go get some things done. Just get totally jacked all over the place. Are you fighting the boar? I think that they're fighting the boar, it looks like, too. Um, yeah, we'll take this one. And put that on. Right? Is that another boar around here? No. Alright. Find that. Aha! Where is he? They after him? Yeah, he's up there. Mr. Boar! That's what you get. Alright. And I'll take my spear. Thank you very much. So do they come over? Do you guys take the boar? Is that what happened to my other boar that I killed? Um. Yeah, it looks like she's just skinning him right there. <laughs> Instead of, yeah, I guess that's where he fell initially. Okay. Good, I don't feel so bad then that I lost a boar. Where'd my other spear go up here? Cool. So, yeah, grab that. And then, how much stuff do we have? We have... Oh, I used up all my logs. Dang it. I chopped down another tree. And probably grab a few more stones for her. Because she needs a lot of that stuff. The king is the king, otherwise he would be somebody else, I suppose, and they would call him something different, wouldn't they? Yeah, and step back from that tree, because the other one, I don't even know what happened with that one, but it was not happy with me chopping it down, that's for sure. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think the logs hurt when they hit you, but I could be mistaken. Okay, let's go deliver this stuff, grab a few more stones on the way. We need a bath. Getting heavy. All right, yeah, too heavy. Yeah, we need a drink of water, some bath, action, and maybe a bit of food. Probably be a good idea. And then we need to talk to Alwyn, too. So, oh, Alwyn needed some stuff. He needed some logs and things, didn't he? But we can just get those closer to him. Yeah, you can have all these. And may as well have all those and all those. And yeah, may as well have the feathers just to get them out of my inventory. Alright, oh, the kitchen. What did the kitchen need? Right, because... Oh, new technology. That's right, we got the fishing hut. So... That allows you to make longbows. Why does the fishing hut allow you to make longbows? That's weird. Can we make regular bows? Yeah, the, right, the hunting lodge makes regular bows. So is the longbow... I don't know. It must be better, right? Ooh, stone spear. Have you been making us stone spears? We'll go check that in a second. But first, yeah, you... You have meat and stuff. What are you missing? Um, let's see. Kitchen. Yeah, she's still missing stuff, too. No resources. No resources. Workers is one. She has resources. Don't know what that means. Is what are you supposed to be making? Yeah, roasted meat. 
have yeah that's working oh it's just yeah some stuff has no resources that makes more sense and then smithy yeah you're working on a good bit of stuff are you not making stone spears for us can you not make stone spears fishing spear a wooden spear but no stone spears stone sickle no no oh there's the stone spear it's locked that's why okay we gotta buy it we don't got any money though so i think yeah we need to eat something we should have some food we got some meat with gravy no we don't need that yet where is roasted meat no roasted meat do you have any roasted meat for me no I'm probably putting it in here uh dried meat roasted meat here we go yeah, we'll take these ones. We have the tolerance. Yeah, we'll take these ones too. And then, roasted meat. Uh, we'll eat these ones first. That is poisoning us a little bit. It doesn't help with our health at all, though. Ouch. You, what? Oh, he's burning himself over there. Good job, buddy. And then, yeah, we need to take a bath anyway. So, how's our inventory looking? We are a little heavy. What are we heavy with? Oh, spears are heavy. And these tools. Let's go throw these tools like here. Pretty good spot to throw tools. Um, yeah, hammer. We'll throw that. And the shovel, we're not going to use that. And then, yeah, the rest we're going to probably need. It's those spears. Those spears are freaking heavy. So then, Alwyn. Yeah. Um, journal, right, Alwyn's story, yeah, track that one. He needs five logs and a wooden hammer. Okay, so we can make that over there, because we're going to have to make a bunch of knives to sell. Go ahead and drink while we're going in and getting our bath. Um, why didn't that drinking work? Not working. You can't move and drink? You have to stay still? Yeah, apparently that's it. Okay. So, I guess we'll pick up as many stones as we can and sticks along the way. Then I'll meet you guys over in Gustovia. And we're here. And magically, I have all the stuff I need for Alwyn. And I also crafted some knives. Where is he? Is this Alwyn? It is. Uh, hi. Here you go. What's next? I know a good place to build it. Follow me. Lead the way. Oh, crap. I need to sell stuff, though. Are there any of the shop people in here? We need to build us a tavern, to, tavern too. Yeah, to show me your wares. So, tools and a knife. Yes. Let's sell you 10 of them. 25. Well, it's something. I thought it was going to be a little better than that, but dang. Alright. Following Alwyn. So, what did we need? Hang on. Management. That'll show us, right, 448, so 450 basically. We have 63. It's going to be a lot of stone knives. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Well, at least I think we don't have to pay them first thing in the spring. I think we can pay them anytime in the spring. But don't quote me on that, that's for sure. Can you go any faster, Alwyn? This is like my least favorite thing. Oh, can we... Yeah, if we... And do we walk the same speed? Yeah, pretty much. We don't do our jogging. No, we are faster, of course. Why wouldn't we be slightly faster than him, even at our slowest walking speed? I don't know why games do that. Like, wouldn't it be pretty easy to just make everybody walk the same speed? Or is it based on the character, um, the, like the model height? Maybe it actually measures how far their step is? I did dabble in game development briefly, and there are lots of different ways to make your character move as far as from a programming standpoint. And there is a way that actually does take the character model into account. This is a perfect place. What do you think? Yeah, quite suitable. What now? Next, I'll practice shooting. If you have time, you can show me how to do it. If you, uh, you are definitely better at it. Um, okay. Well, good thing we brought our bow with us. So... What, do we pull our bow out and do a couple shots? I mean, I don't know if I'm better, but I can... 
kind of use a bow and arrow. Accuracy 100%. Ooh, nice. So, yeah, take our arrow back. So what if we're further then? Let's see, can we make this shot? Let's see. Um, well, <laughs> I twitched at the last moment. Where'd our arrow even go? Yeah. Totally twitched the mouse the last second. That was a fail. Okay, let's try it again. Nice long shot. Oh, let's go into first person too. That would make it a little bit easier. That takes off about 10 meters. No, I missed again. And bam. No, I think I totally missed both those. All right. Well, I think I'm wasting copper, copper arrows at this point. Or are they both right there? No, I just missed picking it up. Mm. Yep, I think I totally lost an arrow. All right, you better appreciate that. Hi. All right, my novice archer. Watch and learn. Oh, we have to do it. Yeah. I mean, 20 meters away from the target is enough. Show me how it's done. Fine. 20 meters. So 10 was like right there. So 20 yeah, is about here, I would think. Or a zero of 20. All right. So then out here and just wait for it to joggle or yeah you do kind of have to direct it and go no oh accuracy 20 percent distance 21 that's not terrible maybe a little higher nope that missed oh no that was better okay and one more nope that one totally missed Oh, we have to get a better score, do we? Yeah. Well, I need my arrows back. And that one. Yep, just barely could see that. Okay. So 20 is about what this grass is. Thing. Alright. And bam! Nice. So... Oh, that's not far enough. There. No? That one not count? That one didn't count. It went under. More drop. There. How about that? No, that was far enough, so let's go a little closer. And last one. I'll make it count. 50%. Eh. I mean, not terrible. Oh, there's more drop than I'm uh, accounting for. Why is my score going down, though? So oh, it's actually a little past. It's like right here. Alright, so we need to aim like at the top of the target, I think, from here. About uh, there. That one. 77% or 77%? Yeah. Oh, we need to get it to 20. Okay. All right, so where was that one? Let's see how much drop that had on it. Well, that was pretty good shot, actually, yeah. So we need to do almost 100%. Of course, it's getting all freaking dark. Like, yeah, let's just shoot in the dark. That's way, that's definitely a good time to shoot arrows. About that. 74, that's even worse. But yeah, I'm like right at the right distance. All right, do right. Uh, keeps wobbling. There. There we go. 95%. Nice. I'm going to get my arrows back just in case. Yeah. So getting a little better. I hope we get a skill that lets us um, not have as much arrow joggling or whatever it's called when moving around. Uh, hi. That's how it's done. You only were as modest as you are accurate. I <laughs> can't be both. There's a lot of practice ahead of me. I will train more until I'm ready to face you one more time. Be prepared for an archery tournament when we meet again. I accept. Until next time, then. Oh, great. I'm not going to do well at that. But yeah, I think we need to head on home. And I don't know. I think we're going to take all the tools that our uh, workshop lady, uh, Nicola, has been making for us and come sell them. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to make all the tools. Because if it's yeah, 25... Uh, for 10 knives. So, what? We'd need to make... 
No, oh, 25. So 40 knives, right, would be 100. Yeah. So we need to make, um, what, 4 times 40 would be, what, 160 knives? A lot of freaking knives. And that's just 400, so it'd be, um, oh, what did I say? Right, 40 knives, yeah, 160, so it'd be like 200 knives we'd have to make in order to make all that money. Although I guess it would just be 40, because we've got 60-some right now. But still, that's a lot of knives to make. I don't want to have to make 160 knives. It was recommended if you're using that method to turn on the fast crafting or whatever, instant crafting, I don't know what it is which I definitely understand why, but it's more the collecting of the materials. There's no quick way to do that. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh. Well, <laughs> I guess that was the perfect time to get back to the house. Traveling merchant is visiting, visiting your settlement. He uh, presents you with his wares and tells stories about faraway lands he saw. For a proper price, he can teach you a few tricks about haggling. I, I don't have the coins, though. Decline politely. Yeah, dis diplomacy skill. Show them that you know more. Yeah, well, we can't do it. We can only do that because we don't have any money. Yep, choose that. Don't need a lesson right now. Well, I do, but I can't afford it. So then, yeah. What does the wife have to say? Hello? Oh, she has a Hello. quest for us. Um, yeah. What's on your mind? I love all the responsibilities I have. I wish our settlement would grow endlessly. Okay, so same stuff. Affection's still 100, moves 14. Yeah, it's all good. And she's got... Yeah, how's my beautiful wife doing? I was just thinking about you, actually. You were, and why is that? Well, it's been a while since we had a special evening just to ourselves. Say no more, I'm free right now. <laughs> and it has to stay that way for a bit longer. I need to run. Um... I don't know. Let's see. What does it do? Yeah. Hold your horses, lover. I made some arrangements to put us in the right mood. I ordered a fine wine for us. It should be ready for pickup in Gustovia. Would you be so kind to, and collect it? It's already been paid for. On my way. Okay. So it's date night. <laughs> date night is the mission. The dirty deed. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, I guess we haven't even consummated our marriage. Well, maybe we have. I don't know. Usually that ends up in a baby. At this time, they don't really have contraception. So, is everybody doing good? Check that out real quick. And does it say taxes went? Does it say they're due? I think they're due now. Oh. Oh, somebody's pregnant. Oh, yeah, we gotta get our situation figured out. You get some money. Do we have. What? Nobody told you what to do. Everybody has things to do. Hang on. Yeah, you're the cook. Right? Yeah, he's in the kitchen. You are at the workshop. You are farm shed. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, that's our wife. You are at the hunting lodge. Are you out of knives? They might be out of knives at the hunting lodge. I'll check in a second here. But yeah, you're at the well. You're at the smithy. Yeah, woodshed. Farm shed. So... What was I... Um... The... I don't remember. Farm shed. They got everything they need. Oh, the... That was the uh, hunting. They have knives. They have enough knives, it looks like. So, yeah, the hen house doesn't have any hens in it yet. Kitchen. Yeah, it's out of resources. Maybe they just say that because they've got some things that they're out of resources on. Your hammer's good. Workshop. Mm, was, yeah, you're working on stuff. She probably could use... No, she doesn't say she needs resources. So I don't know why they're saying that. All right, well... Yeah, that's not ready yet, I don't think. They would put it either in here... Nope. Or in... Food location, but I'm gonna check over here, see if we've got any tools we can go sell. 
nine hammers. They're worth nine, so I'm guessing it'd be four when we get there. Oh, those are her hammers, though. I put all the tools she made elsewhere. Dang, dude, you need to quit smoking or something. Yeah. So do we have... We got 50 cabbage, which is worth three. I don't know that we can use cabbage yet. We got six apples. We'll just take the apples and eat them. Oops. May as well. Got a bunch of meat. A bunch of rot. But still, it's what, 10 rot? Well, we may as well take that and go turn that into fertilizer for our wifey poo. Got one onion in here. Yeah, 50 cabbage, so that would be probably 50 coins. Yeah, we may have to go sell that anyway, though. So, let's go make some fertilizer real quick. Get the farm lady, or well, our, our wife and the, I don't know, the other farmer guy. I don't know what you would call him. Just a farmer. Yeah, craft all that we can. Oh, 33. That's a fair amount. I guess it's kind of worthwhile that you can actually turn the rotted stuff into something useful. Yeah, we really need to get somebody over here, though, so I don't have to keep doing this. Okay. That's all done. You have... Oh, you have some rot in here. Uh, did we have any left over? Yeah, we do. Oh, we can make one more fertilizer. So, yeah. We just need three, though. Right? That's ten. Yeah, we can make one more. May as well. And they'll have 34 fertilizer. Get them going, doing their stuff. And they still have, yeah, hoes and bags. Man, they use those bags up, though, don't they? At least we won't have to be buying any fertilizer for a while. And yeah, they got a stone hoe and six wooden hoes, so they're pretty good. And unsown. You guys need to get to sowing. Like, do we need to give them seeds or tell them what to put? Because they put the carrots in. Confused. Where did we put our seeds? We have onion seeds, I do believe, in here. We have to give them the seeds? Where's the seeds? Onion seed. Yeah. Probably just 30. No, we'll just take them all. Yeah, take those. What other seeds? Where are the seeds? Are they here? No. That's... No, that's not going to be seeds. Or just... Yeah, cabbage seeds. Alright, yeah, just take all of them. All the seeds. Oh, we have hop? Oh! We put somebody on there. Remember, did we put somebody in the orchard? I don't recall putting anyone in the orchard, or does the farm people just take care of that too? I think they must, because I don't know how else we would have gotten hops. Yeah, if we put the seeds in here, do you guys then use them? Because that would be pretty awesome if you would just plant for me. I don't have to deal with it. Where's the other seeds? We had other seeds, didn't we? Here? No? Here? Yes. Cabbage seeds. Okay. Hey, don't run to my wife. That's rude. What are you doing? Sometimes I start to wonder what life in other villages is like. Or maybe they didn't plant because it was the wrong season. Is that why? Yeah, he's, he's spreading some manure. Good job, buddy. Alright, so I'm going to grab all the things that I can sell. Oh, we can change out of our clothes, too. Let's go put our winter clothes in our house. That seems like a good place to keep our clothes. And um, where are our other clothes, though? Well, this, yeah, we don't need that on us. Cap, we can just throw in there. There. Simple linen. Thick gloves. Okay. So then we can put our, our straw hat on. Yeah. We're all set there. Oh, do we have anything to sell in here? The iron arrows. Oh, she needs a new bucket of water. We have buckets. We got berries. About to be useless, too. Well, I guess berries are a good thing to turn into rot. We just need a gatherer's hut, for sure. So we got a ton of berries right here. Well, not a ton. We have some. Alright, where's... Oh, we are heavy with something. What are we heavy with? Oh, sticks. Okay, well, we can just drop most of that in here anyway. So, yeah, resources. Yeah, feathers can all go in there. Logs. Whoops. Go in there. Yeah, that can go in there. 
Now we're down to 17. So tools. Yeah, we have a stone hoe. We have a bunch of stone axes, a bunch of stone knives. Wooden spears. They sell for three, but they're really heavy. Like the heaviest thing in here. So I suppose we should take all the lighter stuff and probably just limp our way down. So I don't think anybody needs the shovels. But yeah, we'll go ahead and take all those. The wooden hose, yeah, they're not really worth much. Um, oh, that was on the wrong thing. The knives don't sell for much. The stone hoe sells for quite a bit. And the axe sells pretty decently. We can make those. And then, yeah, we got a bunch of tools to sell. So I suppose we should go do that. Oh, wait. She needed a bucket. Dang it. Do you have a bucket? Probably should have done this. Oh, it's empty. Yeah, I should have done that before loading up on stuff. Alright, hang on. Let me go figure out everybody's water situation real quick before taking all this heavy stuff somewhere. This one. And it was the axes, right? That's what did me in. Yeah, I believe that was it. Okay. And water. Oh, we do have some buckets. Okay, yeah, take the buckets real quick. Apparently, people can't carry their own stuff. You have to supply them with the stuff. Because they can't walk over there for some reason or another. There. I have buckets. Or does it? I'm pretty sure the food being in here counts. Everybody can use it. Yeah, buckets of water. We got some buckets of water. So I'm just going to leave it and see if it's all right. I'm going to probably drop a save, though. Yeah, that makes me feel a little bit better. So just in case anybody dies of drought, or not drought, uh, thirst, then we'll be covered. Oh, wait. Before I take off, yeah, we needed to grab those axes. Man. Yeah, do we have... Where's our skills? We don't have any skills to spend. But is there even one? What would it be? It wouldn't be... No, not hunt. It'd probably be survival, wouldn't it? Yeah, survival skills. Sense. Yeah, survivalist. Got one of those. Yeah, slower food and water loss. Athlete. That's probably it, right? Slower stamina consumption during movement. That's what we want right there. So, yeah. Next time we get some skill points, then that's what we're going to be spending it on. All right. And... Yeah, stone axe. We'll take those. And we're just so heavy. But I don't want to have to make a bunch of trips. So I'm just going to slowly walk over to Gustovia. And hope that it'll be worth it. We got to hunt a bear. Man. The Wizent. I did take down the Wizent last time. And I've taken down a moose. So it's just the bear I really worry about. We need some kind of armor, I think, before we go and hunt a bear. Hop plant. Yeah. Can we do anything? Or have they been... I think they've been gotten... Yeah, cherry tree. Looks like they've all been gotten. Okay, so I'm going to limp over to Gustobia, and I won't make you guys sit through that, so I'll see you over there. And we made it. That was painful, though. <laughs> you see how slow he's walking. I had to walk that. I mean, I'm really glad I put my place quite close to Gustobia. kind of wish I'd put it a little closer, though, at this point. A little further from those friggin' boars. I thought it would be nice to have the access to the boars, but... How are you? Yeah, it's, it's not so nice when the boars jump you. Um, yeah, we're selling tools. Oh, that's not tools. This is tools. So, stone axes. Yeah, sell you 17. We just need all the money we can get. What do these sell for? Unpredictable arrows of randomness. Yeah, I don't know about those. Should we just sell them? Let me know in the comments if you think I should just sell the unpredictable arrows of randomness. And that's nine. We're up to a hundred. Go us. Um, that's 1.5, really? So yeah, uh, the spears are definitely not worth it. Don't we have... Is that all I managed to grab? I thought I had grabbed hammers. Guess not. Or the, is the wood hammer not in those tools? No, it's just not here. I must have not grabbed the hammers. Meat. Yeah, roasted meat sells for nothing. The stew kind of sells all right. Well, maybe if it wasn't at 50%, it would sell for better. But 
Who's this? Why is, oh, apples, because they're death condition. Yeah, they don't sell for anything. All right, meat with gravy. Yeah, and stew. That's probably what we should be selling. Yeah, they don't weigh hardly anything. Yeah, definitely. That's what we should be selling. See you around, buddy. Oh, we're here to pick up stuff as well. No, not inventory. Journal. Um, yeah, pay taxes. And expires this season. That's what I thought. Okay, the dirty deed. Like the wine from Gustovia. That is over here. Or should we wait? Because yeah, I think I want to do at least one more trip. Because we've got... Should have some stew and stuff. Go sell them. I'm going to go grab the stew, or whatever we have. Should probably just be stew, because I think... I don't know what it is, but yeah. We'll see what other things we have to sell, and I'll be back with you guys when we've got that stuff. Wait, what kind of things do you have? Making anything for us? Oh, you've got a stone axe that's about done for. Oh, that's just probably some of our old stuff that we threw in here. Okay. What is a simple bag? Do you have simple bags? I thought I saw a simple bag. No. I just want to see what they sell for. You guys have some simple bags, I do believe. Let's check the price on that. Not the price that... Yeah, so that's... So that's six each, I would imagine? Because I think it... Yeah, it does the price. Yeah, the iron hoe is worth a lot. Even at 50%. So we really need to get iron tools. But then we're going to owe more taxes by that point. Man... Freaking taxes are gonna kill me in this game. But yeah, what kind of food do we have to sell? Hmm, got a fair bit of stew. We've only got one at 100% though. I guess we'll take these eight. Yeah. How much is that? Two, eight. 18, that's it? Is that, oh, is that each? That better be each. It's gotta be though, right? Yeah. We can't take all the stew. We're gonna need that. Aren't you making meat with gravy too? Or, oh, we're out of um, onions, aren't we? Yeah, you got plates. And you should be set to make meat with gravy. Kitchen, right? We're just out. Yeah, no resources. It takes onions. We're out of, because I sold them all. We're getting onions soon, I do believe. That's carrots. This is cabbage. This is not sown. That's onions. Why are you not sown? Or are they rotating? Is that going to be carrots? I thought I did two carrots. But onions are coming. Carrots, cabbage is coming. Yeah, why are you not sown? What else do we have? I thought we just had carrots, cabbage. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll do it real quick. Oh, is it, is it fertilized? Um, unsown. So I guess that means it's fertilized. Cabbage. Yeah, I'm gonna switch that to carrots or onions. Let's do onions. Do we have enough onion seeds? Because I believe it was 15, right? So onion seed. Yeah, let me grab 15 of them. Grab a simple bag. Then we gotta put that on. Yeah, you can go there. And this guy. Right. And this one. Onions. Where are the onions? Here's the onions. Yeah, onion seed. Yeah, and we'll sew up this field. Ooh, new farming level too. That's awesome. And yeah, I don't know if I left it in or not, but yeah, our one of our villagers over there was talking about her being sick and that she either... It's either something she ate, or uh, they're going to need another bed. But, ooh, skills. Farming, unfortunately. Mm. Skilled farmer gets us a chance to harvest additional crops, but we're not really doing the harvesting. Your ability loss. Whistle summons your mount. Oh, well, we don't have a mount yet. So I guess we'll just do, yeah, more experience. Seems like the thing to do. So we get it maxed out. Night Rider? What is Night Rider? 10% faster riding. Wouldn't it be at night only, though? 
I don't know. Let's give them their bag back. Let's see, we got onions in the in the works. And a simple bag. Yep, you guys can have that back. And then is there anything else to sell? I think I took all the food I can sell. So unless we go and make some more food. Hops. What is that? That doesn't sell for anything. What do we turn hops into? Some rot. Oh, wheat. We can sell the wheat because I can't use that yet. Yeah, let's take all that. How much is that? It doesn't weigh hardly anything either. That's awesome. Yeah, the hammers. Why didn't I take the hammers? Take the hammers. Oh, man. All right. I think we'll leave a wooden hammer first. Yeah. Yeah, just one. Oh, 0. 0.6. You gotta be kidding me. All right, I can go put something. What can we put in here? We can just eat some stuff. Do we need to eat? I think I need to eat. We can eat some apples. They don't weigh anything, though. It's poison. All right. Oh, I don't think we needed to eat. Oh, yeah, we do. That has got us just below. Nice. Okay, is there anything else at all? Feathers. Uh, feathers don't weigh anything, though. Firewood we need. Leather. Let's sell some leather. It, weigh, it weighs a ton. Hmm. Yeah, we'd have to drop a lot of stuff. That better not be five for all 88. It better be five apiece. So we'll go see. And planks. Oh, we have a ton of planks. How much do buckets cost? Well, let's take, I don't know, like a hundred over there for her so she can make us some more buckets. Oh, we can't move though. All right, we can't take a hundred at a time. <laughs> How many can we take? Can we take um, like 30? How about that? Can we walk with 30? Probably not. All right, can we walk with 15 or 16? Maybe? No. Whoops. Man, how many planks can we carry? Can we carry 10? Yes, just barely. All right, so drag 10 at a time over to her. That's not a real job. What? Carving wood isn't a real job? Isn't that your job? Who are you anyway? You're not happy with your job, Oslawa. Oslawa is not happy, it sounds like. Craftsman. I mean, it's either that, diplomacy, or... What is that one? Oops. Skills. We have more farming. Oh, I didn't use all my farming skills. There we go. Alright. That one is extraction. So, you should be good with what you're doing, because you have skill in it. She probably needs more sticks and logs over here, too. But planks, we'll grab her another 10 real quick. I imagine selling planks. What it planks? Where are you at? Uh, planks should be in here. So is that two a piece? I mean, it might be worth doing if, like, we had something to carry them in. Like, I imagine if you had a donkey and you put the planks on the donkey. We might need to go look into that and see if we can get ourselves a donkey. But we need money, I'm sure. Everything costs money. I'm sure donkeys are the same. Yeah, you can have that. What? All of them. There we go. Now you got some planks. So, everybody happier? Yeah, you are pregnant. Sure. She is our lumberjack. Uh, yeah, we really need to get some more people over here. So, to that end, we also need to pay taxes. That's the first thing we need to do. Our inventory is about full, so I shall see you all over at Gustovia once again. And we're back. So, who wants to buy our stuff? We need to go build a house before we can get anybody else. So, you buy stuff, right? No, you don't. You do. Yes. Oh, it's you again. It's me again. Do you want to buy more junk? 
Well, it's not really junk. It's stew. So if we sell you all of that... Okay, 63. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're getting there. So we're not quite halfway. About a third soon. of the way. Oh, wait. Do we have other stuff? Hello there. Got what all we grabbed. Was it... Oh, yeah. Wheat. Yeah, how much... Ooh, there we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we're really getting there. Okay. Oh, that's what we... It was wheat in that other field that we put the onions in. And we might need to do another field just for wheat, because that stuff sells good, and it's light. You can carry a lot of it. So, yeah, I might go and put down another field real quick. And then... We have wheat grain? That's the other thing. I don't remember seeing wheat grain, but... So, yeah, there are some things, like some of your farming stuff, the, pro the what do you call it, produce, I guess, that you get out of the field. Sometimes you get seeds, and sometimes you don't. But I figured wheat would be one of the things that would give you seeds when you harvest it. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to check. Otherwise, we'll have to go buy some. But not this time, because we need to collect all of our money so we can pay our taxes. Yeah, that wheat sold really, really well. Oh, and what about the orchard stuff? The hops? We got some hops. And what about cherries and plums? Because, yeah, we got plums and cherry trees. So we should have this stuff, too, somewhere. Wouldn't it be in the food area? I would think that's where they would put it. So let me check in here for plums and whatnot. Plums? No, no plums. Where would they put it? Did they put it? Was the where was the hops at? Was it in here? Yeah, hop was in here. That's two. So that's it's like 124. Grab that. Sell that. That should get us. Yeah, that'll get us to our taxes. And then plums and cherries. No. Or are they just not ready yet? Maybe they're not ready yet. Maybe they take longer than the hops do. Got chicory. I don't know what that's for. Probably more advanced recipes. Oh, let's take this over to them. And we may as well take some of these over to our hunters. So that they're nice and prepared. Yes. You guys can have this one. And tools. Stone hoe. And, oh, wood hammers. We even need to sell the wood hammers. We may as well, because she's making a bunch of them. And then how are you doing on axes? Are you good on axes? Yeah, she's good on axes. Um, no, not you. You. Give you guys some knives. You'll be all set on your knives. Uh, keep one, though. One of them was ours. Yeah, they're pretty good on knives now. Making us some meat. And... So was there anything else to sell? I don't think so. I think it's about time for dirty deed business, too. So, yeah, I think... Is there anything else we can go sell? Oh, the hammers. We're supposed to put the hammers... You're, you get the hammers. Yeah, that's right. She doesn't keep the hammers. Uh, no. This one, wooden hammers. Yeah, you can have all those, because we have one laying around somewhere. Oh, where? Oh, you need more tool or more stuff, too. Oh, wait. Farming. That's what we're going to do. The uh, wheat. Wheat germ, or wheat. Uh, what was it? Wheat something. Is it in here? Is it wheat germ, or is it wheat? Is it wheat? I don't know. No, so you, you do not get it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense then. Cause unless they put it over here. I wasn't looking for it before. I know I'm dirty. I'm always dirty because I'm always running around. What did I grab? I grabbed something, didn't I? No, I don't paint. I don't want it. Yeah, the, the wheat stuff. I don't remember. But I think we should have enough money to go pay our taxes. So let's run over there, get that dealt with. Just so it's out of the way, and we can just get on with our lives. So, yeah, we'll jump in the river real quick. 
Going over to Gastonia. Pay our taxes after selling stuff. And then if we have enough money left over, grab a drink. Then we'll grab some wheat grain. Wheat grain is what I was thinking. <laughs> and then we'll be able to plant some wheat after our um, dirty deeds session. So yeah, I'll run over real quick to Gustovia one more time. And I think that should be it for this episode, maybe? Hopefully. Alright, back again. So... She only travels when nobody's watching. <laughs> Interesting thing to say. Alright, do you have money left? I'm sure everybody has more money than I do. Yeah, he's got a thousand. So, hops. Yeah, I'll sell you that. Oh, we're only get 62? And, yeah, I guess I wasn't really thinking about it. Is that... That's just enough, isn't it? If we sell you, like, what? One more thing? What do we got? Roasted meat? Yeah, you're not going to pay anything for that. Health potion. Oh, I should have used that earlier. Well, I suppose I'll give you a stone knife. Yeah, because we can make more of those easy enough. And now we're over our tax money. Just barely. So, yeah, where is our Castellan dude boy? Real quick, pay taxes. He is over here. Is that him? I think that's him, yeah. Unigost. Uh, hello, son. Hello, Unigost. Long time no see. Long time indeed, Razemir. How, how have you been? Great. Uh, I've met Morland recently. I'm glad. Seems that you're following the path of Jordan's past just like you wanted to. I do. That's why I'm here, actually. I wanted to ask you about Kestrel. Oh, so you've heard about her. Yes, Warland, Warland mentioned her name. Nothing else. Uh, not my story to tell, he said. Um, yeah, apparently it's not Unigost either. That's um, really strange. Why would he say it like that? Strange indeed. Kess, I, um, I mean she... Yeah, she was part of the pack, and that would be it. <laughs> Your attempt at being casual seems like you're having a stroke. You're right, sorry. I just wasn't prepared for that topic. For her topic. For her. You see, Kestra was... Haha, <laughs> I remember the day we met. Me, Eorden, and Sambor were coming back from one of our one of the missions. Uh, it was truly spectacular. Heist, ruse, battle, revolution... Failure. Long story short, we were forced to take a shortcut through the river and lost most of our equipment in the process. Our mounts as well. After a few days of roaming the woods, we've come across a small village. Okay, that's a weird way to say it. We were way too exhausted to even think of trying something elegant. So we decided to just take the horses from the stable and leave some money behind. Alright. So we just did that. We did just that. Uh, we started riding the horses out of the village in a hurry, when we suddenly heard a loud whistle. Horses stopped in place immediately, as if they were enchanted. The Orden fell off, Sambor was kicking the horse with all his strength, but it wouldn't even budge, and then we heard of her voice. If you, boys, want to keep your peckers and heads attached to your bodies, he will get off my horses and start running. I looked behind me and saw the most beautiful woman I've ever seen holding a bow, with an arrow pointed right at my eye. At that moment, your uncle managed to get off the ground, pissed as heck, and started giving her a piece of his mind. So she moved her bow a little and released the arrow. She shot him? Without a blink, me and Sambor almost died from laughter. What? Why? That was the first and pretty much only person that we've met uh, who made Eorden look like a fool. A child, even. The sight of Eorden bleeding and us laughing at that must have uh, been the strangest thing. She surely thought that we were some kind of loonies. I'm certain that she did. We ended up spending a whole day together. She tended to Eorden's wound, who, who didn't say a word to her this entire time. And me and Sambor were basically begging her to join us. When we explained our mission to her, which we haven't done ever before to a stranger, he said yes, just like that. There wasn't even a pinch of fear in that woman, bravest soul that was ever born. Alright? Her only condition was that we take all of the horses. She didn't have any family beside those animals, and family shall never be left behind. There was five of them. Some might call it coincidence, the other destiny. Uh, the fifth was for Warland. Bullrad, correct? Indeed it was. The steed's name was Burr, which makes it totally fitting to his future owner. Burr was carrying our bags for almost a year before he got himself uh, a rider. And those two became best friends, I'll tell you that. But getting back to Kestrel, Jordan didn't like her at first. Only time I ever met our, I ever seen him in insecure like that. He didn't pull, put a spell on her with just a glance like every other woman, so he resented her 
re uh, so he resented her for it. All right. For a while, at least, because soon everything fell into place. Sun always rises in the east and sets in the west. No way to get around that. Same thing was with Eorden. He always got what he wanted, and that was to be admired and desired. She didn't have a chance, really. They were together, Kestrel and Eorden? Well, it started as a fling, but isn't that how every love starts? Soon they became inseparable. If I didn't know Eorden so well, I'd say she changed him. But he didn't change. He couldn't. He just enjoyed his new game, a relationship. Even Sambor realized it at some point. Everyone did, except Kestrel. Uh, Eorden soon became bored with this game, like with any other, so he went back to seducing and having fun with other women. But now, there was another challenge for him. Another thrill of keeping it a secret from Kestrel. It was painful to watch, really painful. Especially when I loved them both so much. Uh, you mean loved like family, right? Rasimir, I loved Kestrel right from the moment she pointed the arrow at me. Never stopped, but I've always been shy, and living in Eorden's shadow only worse, worsened that. So I kept it to myself for years, until I didn't. What do you mean? We started having an affair. So you betrayed Eorden. Nothing is black and white, dear Rasimir. You certainly learn it with age. We all live in, in infinite shades of gray. But yes, that's uh, undeniable. I've hated myself for it and hated him for hurting the love of my life, for making me lie to her and keep his dirty secrets while I had one of my own. It was exhausting, to be honest, but I couldn't stop. I couldn't lose her, and she couldn't stop loving him as well. I'm not judging you, Unigos. That sounds excruciating. That's not the end of the story. It all went downhill when she got pregnant. I couldn't eat or sleep. I started distancing myself from her. The unknown was killing me. Was Eorden the father? Did I lay with a woman carrying another man's child? Listen, yep. Yeah. Or maybe it was mine, and I wasn't going to raise it, but instead live as his uncle, in a lie, like a coward. I have the darkest of thoughts rushing through my mind at this time. I still blame myself for it. Did I wish it to happen? Uh, wished what? The baby was stillborn. I wanted to die with it on that day, but I felt relieved at the same time. What kind of person feels relieved in a situation like that? When Jordan left the, the room, I wanted to see its eyes. I wanted to be sure, to finally know what to, what to feel. She didn't let me. I joined Eorden in his grief. Uh, we drank and cried all night. I was pretending to be just another, just an empathetic brother, but it was a, I was a scum, a scum with a grief of his own. Okay. The child's little body was buried in the morning. I couldn't get back to the being with Kestrel after that, and neither could Eorden. So she lost three of her men on that day, I, all consumed by the flames, blown away uh, by the wind and as smoke and dust. Unigost, I'm so sorry. I had no idea what you've been through. What you all have been through. You have nothing to be sorry for, my child. I was trying to tell you that from the very beginning, don't envy the lives we've lived. We were trying to do some good, make some change, but we were not heroes. We And we're still paying the price for it. I need to see her, Unigost. You said that all of you ended up in the valley. I don't know where she lives. She didn't want to be found, not by me, so I've never looked. But I'm pretty sure that Sambor knows. You can try with him. That's what I'm going to do then. Uh, Rasmir, if you see her, tell her that. I Never mind. Be well. Well, that was a long story. I wasn't expecting that. I was just coming here to pay my taxes. Sheesh. Um, okay. Very well. Don't we have to pay taxes? Alright, I'm confused. Yeah, pay taxes. And we pay taxes to Unigost. Uh, hello? How do you do? Talk? No? Yeah. I guess we gotta wait for tomorrow or something. So let's go grab the the wine and get back to our wife. Sheesh. Yeah, that was um a taxes dirty deed. There we go. Alright. Where is our wine at? So much going on. Somebody has our wine. Oh, of course it would be at the tavern, duh. Where would wine be? You have it. You must have it. Hello there, how can I be of service? Hi, I'm here to collect the wine my wife has ordered. Oh, right. The lady with the deadpan face, correct? That seems like the proper description of her, yes. I have it here. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Many couples order it for special occasions. It's said to be an aphrodisiac. What does that mean? It means you'll never forget the night you're about to have. Okay, sounds great. Now let's run on back to our house and see what Wifey Poo has in store for us. We are back. So I did also look and I found out that since we planted that field with onions, our taxes actually went up. So if you look, yeah, 664. And we only have uh, 452. So they went up by, because it was 450, I'm pretty sure. So it went up almost 200, over 200 uh, coins or whatever they are. 
just from planting that one field. So I guess we should have paid taxes before planting that field. I figured taxes were for what you were at the last year, not at whatever you're at right now. All right, where'd our wife go? Oh, she's over here. I should just follow the, the thingamabobber. Hey, honey, what's going on? Here you are. I'm back, darling. Are you ready to have your world rocked? <laughs> There's been a change of plans. Oh, come on. Uh, when you were gone, a friend of mine stopped by and told me about a situation in Branica. Supposedly a woman from outside the valley came here and made some commotion. I don't know the whole story, but the villagers are calling her a liar and a crook. And what does it have to do with us? I remember how hard it was for me coming here at first. I didn't know anybody. I felt judged and alone. You need to go there and see if she needs any help. But honey, I have the wine. We're here. I'm sure she will be fine. She will, because she will have the best man I know helping her, which will make me very happy. And you know that I can be extremely generous in paying back. Uh, I'll be back in a jiff. <laughs> well, sheesh, I was not I was just moving. But, dang. I was hoping we were going to end this episode on a high note, but apparently, yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a bit of a low note, because that is going to be... Um, where is Branica? That is uh, over here. Yeah, we got a lot of quests to go do, little side quests and things. But, yeah, we got to go find another 200 coins, 220-ish, which is going to be fun to do. Let's just check real quick if we have anything we can even sell that's worth that much. Can we, uh, yeah, price. Oh, it's going this way. So what is worth the most? The wooden hammers. Did we take... No, we just popped them over there. So we can grab the wooden hammers, but we only have like 10. So that'll end up being like 50. That's not even going to be close. Fur, is that worth... That's not worth much. We don't have much of it anyway. Man. And yeah, those are worth nothing. Okay. Man, it got dark. Alright. Well, do we have any food to sell? So, oh, apple wine. Oh. We can sell the apple wine. I didn't even know we had that. So let's grab that. I don't remember grabbing that, but sure, that works. And then the cabbage. But they weigh a ton. So is that 10 for all of them, or is that 10 each? If that's 10 each, that's going to suck. Right? So, no, it's, it's um, what is that? 0.2 each, which is 10 for 50. Oh, do we have, we do have room for 10. Okay, so we'll grab that. We can sell that, because that's where cabbage three, so that'll end up probably being one-ish. So that's another 50, and then that's 100. So then if we sell also the hammers, then that should be enough, right? Gave you all the hammers. She has, yeah, 15 hammers. She needs more stuff anyway. So if we take 10 hammers, can we fit 10? Uh, no, we cannot. I don't think we can really drop anything either. Well, I suppose we'll take... What can we take? We've got 28. So we can take 7. Yeah. So that should get us pretty darn close. And we can just make knives to make up the rest, I suppose. But either way, that's going to end this episode. Because we've been doing quite a bit. And then next episode, I guess we're going to check the situation in Branica. So, I do hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. As always, I hope, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you'll join me next time for the Branica situation. <laughs> so, catch you then. Bye.